What's up? It's Josh Hewitt, Top Form Fitness. It's time to do it with Hewitt. Back with another episode of my Road to Rip series. Today I have a photo shoot. A friend of mine, a photographer Byron, is going to be uh, taking some fitness shots for me. And I definitely recommend you check out this guy's website. I'll post it down below. And then right after that, I have a workout with uh, Joe Hughes of fitinsync.com. Uh, my buddy and my actually my physique coach for this upcoming contest. So he's going to see uh, where I'm at for my conditioning and let me know what I should be doing uh, leading into peak week. But we're going to smash an upper body workout too. So I really wanted to get this photo shoot in about a week out from my competition, right before my peak week. I wanted to treat it sort of like a practice run for the actual contest. Uh, see how my carb loading went and sort of do a, uh, a trial run at peak week leading into the photo shoot. It also gives me a chance to see where my conditioning is at and it, it worked out well for timing that uh, my coach Joe could make it up for a workout today as well so he'll sort of see where I'm at leading into peak week. Um, and it gave me a chance to sort of practice some posing and uh, pumping up and whatnot to, uh, to help me prepare for the upcoming contest. I was really pleased that Byron was available for this day as well. We worked with him before to, uh, to do some family photos. I'm really happy with his work, so I was pumped that he could, uh, he could do this day as well. And big shout out to Josh, the owner of Barry Iron Gym, where we're doing this photo shoot for letting us set up here today. This is a kick-ass gym here in Barry. If you're ever in the area, definitely come check it out. Also wanted to say a big thank you to Martin for coming and helping out with the photo shoot as well. Got some great photos from this shoot. Uh, did some pictures with the weights as well. Took about three hours in total and uh, it was a lot more uh, taxing than I expected. I was pretty tired by the end of it, but really pleased with the experience. And when I say jab, I go for the other hand. One, two, three, go. You know what happens when you move? All right, just finished the photo shoot. It went really well. I think we got some great shots. Looking forward to seeing the footage. Feeling a little drained from that, but uh, I'm ready to uh, hit a workout now with uh, my buddy, my coach, Joe. He should be coming in any second. And here he is now. All right, buddy. Hey, guys. Hey, how you Come doing? On. Ready to rock. Ready to do this? Oh, yeah, let's do All this. All right, let's hit I'm it. Excited. How you feeling? Oh, good, man. A little, little drained from the photo yeah. shoot. I got to get some pre in me for sure. Yeah. Get some stims. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's, let's do it. Get some drinks. All right, cool. So, let's do it, yeah, buddy. Time to get wide. So today, Joe and I are hitting an upper body push pull antagonist superset routines. We're working chest and back in the horizontal plane here first. Then we're gonna be moving to pull downs and overhead pressing and then some accessory work or some isolation exercises at the end of the workout. We're really focusing on slow, controlled, squeezing repetitions, creating as much tension in the target muscle group as we can. We really wanna feel the muscles in these exercises. We're working on building mass here. We're not just trying to throw around as much weight as we can with loose form. So I'm focusing on squeezing every repetition slow in the negative and squeezing the shortened position in each repetition. Moving on to the chest press, this is the first time I've tried this machine. I usually work with free weights, but uh, I actually really like this. It had a nice groove to it, could really feel the stretch and squeeze in the pecs. Uh, it was easy on the shoulders, so I think I'll be doing this, uh, this exercise again. Okay, we're finishing up our warm-up sets. Time to put some weight on, heat things up, get into the working sets. Uh-oh, watch out ladies, it's about to get hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> 
finished up the rows and chest presses and we're moving on to the next exercises in the workout and the vertical plane lat pull downs and overhead press I really like this handle here this uh, this grip on the pull down really easy on the wrists and can really feel the lats being targeted gonna have a lot of good doms in the back after this moving on to a regular standing dumbbell overhead press working with light weights really trying to focus on the deltoids through the full range of motion we're working in the 6 to 10 repetition range today with a drop set on the final set. And we're wrapping up the workout with some accessory and isolation work for the shoulders and arms. Getting into some rear delts here. Going to move on to single arm lever presses and then finish with the buys and tries. Now it's time for the gun show. It's time to party. What do you think? Good workout? Yeah, it was good. We got some 
some good stimulation in there, good pump on. Got some, some push pull. Stretch fibers. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Did some heavy shit at the beginning, went to some yeah. high rep stuff yeah. at the end. I got uh, one week left now to peak week. You think I'm going to be ready? Yeah, I think you look good. Okay, Just cool. tighten up. But tonight, we have a barbecue, so I'm going to load up one more time. Yeah, it's time. Refuel from feast. this workout. Feed the machine. Feast. So we're going to go feed now, and then I'm starting my diet in peak week starting tomorrow, ramping me up into the competition. Wish me luck. Yep. If you like the video, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe, and also make sure you check out fitandsync.com. Yeah. All right, until next time, stay strong, baby. Take care, guys.